All right, so in this video, we're taking a look at a very cool mirror finished face clock. First, a couple of detailed images, and then we'll take a look at some of the features this offers. All right, so as stated, we're taking a look at a alarm clock. It has a mirror type finish on the face, which is really cool. But before I show you the actual clock real quickly, let me show you. It does come with this little protective screen cover you want to peel off. And this is the box that it comes in. It has a little FCC compliance card that basically talks about interferences that could be caused like you would get with a phone or some radios and things you'll see commonly. It has a warranty slash support card, which is nice. If you have any problems, you can actually contact them very easily. You don't have to go searching for an email. And then you have a little user guide or user manual. It's really well laid out, very simple to follow, very easy to operate the clock. Um, if you want to have it at full brightness, just plug it in with USB. Uh, it does have a micro USB cable included, and it's a white cable, but it's a black clock, so it's a little bit uh, strange, I guess, but by any means. So real quickly, uh, I would say charge this up once overnight. If you just want to leave it plugged up, you could, and then you have the built-in uh, battery backup, which is nice. But if you want to run it off battery, just charge it up overnight once every so often. And I can't say once every month or once every few months because it depends on how you utilize the clock as far as um, you know how often you use the alarms and the other features that would actually cause the uh, lights to be or the uh, illumination to be on and the brightness level you choose, that's going to play into the battery life but it should last you for quite a while. Uh, by any means, you could run it off power banks and things. So, so real quickly, you've got the mirror finish face. On the top, you have your snooze on this side and your light button on this side. Snooze is gonna be five minutes and the light is gonna allow you to adjust the different brightness levels. We'll take a look at that in a moment. On the back, you have your alarm on both sides so if you're a couple and you each have to have an alarm you can each you know have your own alarm or if you're a kind of a person that has problems waking up maybe you need to set two alarms with the period in between so that way you can kind of start to wake up and then wake up more fully and you also have volume level adjustments you can make to the alarm so you can adjust accordingly uh, another cool feature is this has a temperature readout so if I turn this on you can see and if I hit the brightness level, you can see, so I'll leave it bright. And if I hit the plus symbol, the up symbol, that's going to change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. And if I hit the time set button, that's going to change between 12 or 24 hour format. So depending upon which one you're comfortable with, you'll have that option. If this were plugged in and charging right now, there would be a battery indicator over on this side here. You can see the little alarm right there. And if I turn the alarm off, you can see that disappears. If I turn the other one on, You can now see both of them at the bottom. So I'm going to turn those both off. Now, there is a reset button on the back here. So if you ever had a problem and it malfunctioned, you can just reset it. You have your uh, speaker and your charging port. You have speakers. And you can see the alarm, the alarm. You have your different times set. 
and your alarm settings. You just press and hold uh, the alarm or time set and then up or down to make that adjustment. Press the set again to confirm. And another cool feature about this is sort of a lullaby slash sound machine type option. And an example of that would be So that gives you an idea of the different volume levels. There are multiple sounds to choose from, but again, if you press the uh, minus or the down button, So that gives you an idea of the sound that is available. So what I want to do now is show you another cool feature, but it's going to require no sound for a moment. So you can see after about six seconds, like if you were using this on the bedside table, that's uh, or bedside nightstand, uh, bedside table, whatever you happen to have beside your bed, that's a really cool feature because it's not going to bother you at night. You can also dim it down to a lower level, so it's not going to bother you. Like you can have it really bright, or you could have it really dim, and have it set like that. But if you wait about six seconds or so. Hello? So it's sound sensitive, voice controlled. So at night, this is going to go out. One, it's going to conserve the battery when you're running it off battery power. Two, it's definitely not going to disturb you at night because there's going to be no light coming from it. But basically, it, I think it says 90 decibels, but uh, and I'm relatively close in proximity, so that's going to be very easy to trigger this. But the mic does seem to be sensitive, sensitive enough to trigger that voice activation feature that wakes the clock up so that you can see the time really easily, which is really cool. But then it has that really cool like mirror effect. So it just looks like a little mirror sitting there when it's not actually turned on. But that's just like a quick run through of the different features and functionality of this. And again, you can choose from the three different, uh, three different volume levels depending upon you know whether you're a heavy or a light sleeper and the different brightness levels depending upon what you wanna see as far as when it is active. But after about six seconds, it will time out and then the screen just goes dark. And that is really cool. So I love that at night because you don't have to worry about it being bright. But anyway, if you wanna find out more about this, there's gonna be a link below the video. You can check that out. That's just a really quick run through of the features and hopefully that's useful to you if you want to find out how to set it of course look at the manual i'm not here to go through all that option but holding down pressing up and down holding uh, pressing again that's quick and easy to set like most clocks work so operation is super simple again that's pretty much it link below thanks for watching